going to have uh, an easy time, at least against the penny here. It should do pretty well into the penny, but that really depends on how much it clips. And lots of wall breaks coming in, but Grace Clan have been moving up just a little bit. Punisher getting a few tags on a heavy boss as well, getting tagged up by Zach on the bottom. And yeah, we are well underway in this game night. Yeah, uh, maybe I missed out a little bit on the lore, but I've never seen any of these players. I'm guessing they all had some name change or something. But you know, <laughs> pretty... yeah, I don't know what's going on. But uh, Nagumo, Zach, and Punisher making their names for themselves inside of the scene. As Alice already goes all the way down the left hand lane, and a Colt on the safe is the last thing you want if you're praised right now. And yeah, they've already lost 20% just with one Colt push, and they've got to start firing back with a lot of damage here. Penny going to be able to step the mortar pretty conveniently there, thanks to the Colt breaking the wall open for them there, evening out the damage line, Team Queso firing back, going down the mid here, and Boss trying to find the Colette Super and Zach very careful about not feeding it too much, Punisher is going to fall to the Colt, and Alice, even with that tag, is so, so dangerous, going for the Super onto Nagumo, trying to get him down, Lou Super at mid is just stalling the game for now, as the teams are both still even on the scoreline with one minute left in regulation though. Yeah, for people who are uninitiated and I guess also for Knight, uh, Grace Clan, there are some renames here and there, and uh, Zach isn't a member of the regular squad. I believe that Grace had some issues with uh, all the members showing up for this match, or might be some issues, so Zach did fill in. He was previously uh, one of the uh, reserve rosters in Grace Clan, and I think he's also a big uh, friend with a lot of these players. And, Punisher is Nui, and Nagumo is Rama, I believe. Alright, thanks for filling me in on the lore. Uh, it's still Team Queso mm -hmm. with the lead here. And if Colette can get another super down, they will be cementing themselves inside of this first game. Colt is going to be clipping the penny on the left-hand side. Wow, he's doing a really, really Ooh. good job of that matchup. It's obviously very, very difficult to win Colt versus any other long-range brawlers a lot of the time. But wow, this is domination here so much damage on the safe and yeah that, that's, that's really the problem with Craze's comp here they don't have many ways to get damage on the safe they're relying on that penny turret way too much and when your opponent has cult who can just break open those walls and take out your turret so easily um it makes your entire win condition completely nullified uh craze just has to play literal perfect control get a little bit of damage on the safe and then win the game that way which is so so unreliable against the team of team cases level yeah, indeed, Grey's clan is slightly on the back foot here, but we've had a good start in this game at least. Uh, they also had a good start in the previous game, so that isn't saying much. Uh, Boss going to be popping the gotcha gadget. He's going to get a lot of health back. He has a super to work with, with the damage gear as well. He's going to be very, very low. Doesn't get taken out, but he does get Zack in the back foot. And uh, the Ali SSJ getting a lot more safe damage. Team Queso has taken 21% off Grey's safe night yeah good start for team queso and they're already uh putting a lot of pressure on crates clan because getting that much damage with these kind of brawlers is so much to ask for like lou scratching a safe is gonna be so difficult bell just just barely does any damage and penny turret's gonna be so hard to ask for at this point with cold pushed up so far on the map Alice is really hitting every single shot. 50% and the safe keeps falling. B shot on. B shot on again. Colette on. And this game is all over. And so is the set. I don't see a way that Crazy Bank can come back. Very, very nice plays from Team Kickstarter. I, I have to agree here. And but here, uh, I think breaking it open is fine just because uh, Crazy Bank actually does have the outrange on a lot of their brawlers. Of course, Colette for Team Queso is going to be a little bit awkward because there's not really any brawlers that can collect counters here. Of course, it doesn't look like it's stopping them as, oh wow, boss! Barely not able to pass the ball in there after getting lit up by the fire. And let's see if Craze Ben can return the heat as Amber pushes up on the right-hand side alongside the Bell and Grip on the left will try to win this lane back against Colette. Zag going in onto Javi with the help of Rama there, but uh, Javi does pop a gotcha gadget. Gets taken out at the end, but a huge number is being done to Team Grace Clan here as Team Queso are on their onslaught jump coming in. They find the kill on a Punisher. Boss is going to be very, very low. He does find the kill on a Nagumo. Also, the wall break on the right side. 
is gonna serve Team Queso very, very well. Zach is gonna be trying to push up onto the penny there, but with the turret, it is looking all sorts of bad for Crace Clan as Team Queso have control of this mid. Yeah, this penny turret is gonna be a nightmare for Craze Clan to deal with. Of course, Zach doesn't really have a way of getting up there and taking it out. And honestly, the Amber using two, uh, needing to use two flame fields to be able to take it out is a big commitment. And while wow, Amber just absolutely gets deleted there by the Colette, now it's up to Nagumo to get all the way up, throw that Griff Bomb down, but going up will be the problem as Bonnie and Penny are completely pinching off this side here. Of course, Griff also doesn't have the range to be able to push up on that lane very effectively against those two. Team Queso is just making short work of Craze Clan in this match here. And yeah, Alice is going to be able to pass this ball right into the goal. They've been controlling this match for the better half of it. And now Craze Clan has the pressure on them, but they're pushing into the penny turret. Yeah, 25 seconds left on the clock with Team Queso already getting a goal here. Nagumo gets the super onto Alias's day, takes him out, but Zach is going to be moving up here. He could go for a goal here or pass the ball, but Punisher is very low, so he can't collect. And this is basically end game, and Team Queso are going to be taking this game. Yeah, excellent job from Team Queso here. Just using the penny turret to an advantage, knowing that. Uh, not like the last game where Craze Clan tried to use a penny turret. Um, they, no, no, yeah, they tried to use the penny turret in the last game, and that was their win condition, but they weren't able to find a way to capitalize on it. Here, Team Queso knew exactly what their win condition was and absolutely dominated with it. Now, Griff is going to try to find the correct alignment on the penny here because he knows that uh, that's still going to be the only way to remove the penny turret. Uh, and remove its efficacy on the map. Of course, he didn't throw the grip bomb there because, of course, he played play further back. But yeah, this is something they're going to have to mm. think about throughout this game as the trade-off goes on the left-hand side. It's going to be a 2v2 at mid. Crazy actually with an advantage as Nagumo is able to push up now, not at a 1v2. And if he gets that grip bomb all the way down to the end of the map, it might just open up the walls and the possibilities for Crazy Clan to win this game. Yeah, we have a Craze Clan advance coming in. Nagumo is going to get that wall break with a piggy bank, but they don't collect the ball. They could have gone for a goal in that situation. They decide to keep control instead, but with that penny turn, that control is going to be completely evaporated. Always look on the left side, so Punisher has something to work with here, but he's going to get tagged up just a little bit. Another way slick as well, and the ball be cornered by Team K, so Javi gets tagged up as well. It is controlled for the side of Team Craze Clan, but it could very well change as Boss goes in on a Zack. Not able to find the kill because of the cashback from Nagumo. And Craze Clan once again defend this aggression coming in from Team Queso. Yeah, Penny Turret's gonna get. Oh wow, Penny Turret actually does not get lit up on the left hand side. And Alice has made the correct lane switch in response to the Griff opening up that right hand side. Now, Team Case was pushing up Alice all the way at the end of that lane. Javi now against the Griff and Bell. So much collateral from Craze Clan. Just standing around like that, able to be hit by the Colette very, very easily. If Boss is able to jump in on any of these brawls, it'll be certainly a kill. And while uh, Colette's going to go in, Nagamo finds the kill and is able to play defense and hold on for Craze Clan a little bit longer here. Again, they just want this game to go to overtime so that the Penny Turret, again, won't have any play towards that end game and it seems like they're succeeding as Team Kazo has yet to find that goal. Ball still on the top right hand side and Craze Clan is now making their first advance in this set, pushing up towards that ball. Yeah, and uh, I think my mic is better now. But anyway, Craze Clan are moving up. They get the kill on a boss. We are going to go into overtime here. A super coming in from Javi on a Punisher. He gets punished for it, though, as Craze Clan trying to move up. Boss has to pop his gadget. He's trying to get these shots off on a Zack. Desperately trying to get his super. Uh, does manage to avoid the fire damage coming in from Punisher, the, the fire fuel. And that is looking very, very good for Team K. So as they push back, Alias J almost taken out by that cash back from Nagumo. They are going to be pushing the ball up just a little bit. A Smith super from Javi is going to be detrimental. They do find the kill on to Boss as Zach moves up as well. And Team Queso are trying to fend off this onslaught coming in from Grace Clan. Yeah, fend it off. They are doing extremely well though as Boss goes in for the, the kill onto Amber. 
basically holding their defense. Oh my goodness, Alex really tried to go for that. But of course, that was their only chance at winning this game. 10 seconds left, and this brain is pushing up, but with no stupid on their side. Can Nagma put the win? No, he can't. Punisher, one more offer. Yes, he does. Craze Clan is going to take this match at the last second when it looked bad for them throughout that entire first game and first half of the second game. Amazing finish here for Team, uh, no, I, for team Craze Clan. Amazing, amazing job. I have to say that was absolutely insane. The fact that Zach was able to clutch up in the dying moments of that game was uh, mendable. Uh, he obviously hasn't been playing comp as much as of late so the fact that he could do that against team queso was absolutely monumental but before any of that i have to thank granny for the subs thank you for gifting five subs to the channel really appreciate it thank you so much granny and uh, that's gonna go a huge way to helping us out and also for blender 97 for the sub as well i'm sorry i missed out on that but yes thank you so much yeah now as we go into this game, it looks like Al has already found the penny turn. This was the bane of Craze Clan's existence for a lot of this match, but it seems like the Griff is starting to figure things out and knowing when to push him on the map. He does get it down, and then Paul pass over to Punisher. Can they forget this? No! He was a little bit too early on the pass, and they're going to miss this goal opportunity up against Team K. So, boss on the left hand side, just waiting for the Bonnie form to return as he just tries to heal up a bit. Javi trying to switch his lane, of course, to the Griff. And Ooh. Penny still wants to go in the Amber, but it looks like Craze Clan has the better lane alignment for now. Penny Tur all the way at the back, just firing away and putting Craze Clan at a pretty difficult position, pushing into this. Yeah, Zach has suddenly got into the zone. He has a hot hand and he's been hitting a lot of these shots, pushing back in case so unequivocally into spawn once again zach has a super to work with but all these bell shots are really really distracting for team case pushing them back all the way to spawn jump coming in boss should find the kill on anagamo and he gets taken out himself javi has a super to work with fire fuel coming in from punisher but he's gonna be taken out no he doesn't he managed to survive just a little bit over there as team case so have evaporated that but javi back uh, getting taken out and now Grace Clan advance with about 30 seconds left on the clock. Uh, it is looking very bleak for Team Queso in this situation. Yeah, absolutely. Zach misses the tag, which could have been instrumental in an offense from Craze Clan. But Team K is having that one goal is going to be completely a uh, loss of opportunity for Craze Clan because they know that in overtime they're going to have the advantage. But if they can't bring it to overtime, then they're not going to have a chance in the game. Team Queso, really, really strong second set here from them. Of course, it was looking a little... Yeah, let's take a look here. All that damage coming into the right-hand side onto Nagumo. Gonna set him back a lot here up against Alice, and it's gonna be a solid start for Team Queso as they pick off the mid. Punisher up against the Buzz. It's gonna be a pretty rough matchup here because there's no way for the Nier to really reset the buzz. Of course, you have that bear stun, but it's very, very ineffectual most of the time. Alice just destroying this right side lane against the Jackie. Ruffs with that around the walk ability and the wall break is gonna make Jackie basically useless in that matchup. Speed from Boss, stun from Javi, and they're gonna completely be able to deny any chance of an offense from Craze Clan. They've got to go for a steal at this point, and with Max having that boost and so many ways to get away from the enemy at the last second, I think they're going to be hard pressed to find an answer here. Yeah, this is not looking good at all for the side of Craze Clan as uh, in case it will actually take the countdown. It is starting, but. They're going to be hard-pressed to move up here. Zach does get the ego up, but they find the kill onto Punisher. That's going to be huge. Now we're trying to make some kind of play here. He gets a, he gets a pull, but he's not able to finish as Boss is able to uh, face shifter out of there. That was a sticky situation to be in for Team Queso in those dying moments of that game. But they were able to clutch that one up, and they are on match point against Craze Clan. I'm a little sad about that, but it is Team Queso, and I also am a big fan of Team Queso. So... It works out. Plus, like, uh, Team Case has been playing very, very closely, at least with the draft and their team play. It's been pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see if they can return the favor onto Team Case in this match. They have a pretty... Never mind. I, I was going to say they had a pretty good start, but then they just all died. So, my bad for jinxing them. 
Team Queso breaking up on the left hand side is going to make it almost impossible for this Jackie to do anything. Jackie has the rebuild gadget, so it's going to be helpful for, I guess, a short bit of time here. But just until Alice gets his next game, Hobby's going to go and get two kills. <laughs> wow. Six gem lead. Wall break just comes down again immediately. Max with the buff, and now Jackie is in so much trouble. Hobby going in and just doing so much aggro plays as Boss picks up the gems. Feels like he's not even having to do anything as his teammates are just winning their lanes so hard and forcing a 2v3 at the back end. Yeah, Boss and uh, Javi are popping off. I haven't seen Javi not pop off uh, ever in a match, so uh, definitely nice to see him pop off once again as Team Queso are very close to starting the countdown here. And Javi is going to get that kill there. Not able to pick up those gems, but that's going to be enough of a distraction. Punisher tries to move up. Javi still has a stun to work with. He goes in, he finds a kill on Tanagamo as Team Queso do get the countdown and another stun from Javi. He's absolutely popping off and completely chaining these supers and as Team Queso look to close this one out. Yeah, kill on the Javi at the end. Not going to do it for Craze. And Team Queso is going with a huge sweep here up against Craze Clan. Well, yeah, I think Craze Clan had a lot of good things going for them. I think the draft here was just very, 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 very sus. I think Navi can make a lot of things work that other teams just cannot replicate. Uh, that goes for Navi, that goes for Vacher as well instead of NA. But there are certain teams who are just have mastered the art of aggro, and other teams find a very difficult time to do the same on their end. But yeah, congrats to Team Queso winning mm -hmm. this game 3-0. We'll be going to the best segment of every single match, and that is... La Jugada Mas Segura. Let's take a look. All right, Zach tags up Hobby, and this is old. Alice goes for the play, and at this point, I thought the game was going to be a draw. Almost well, certainly, I thought this game was going to be a draw, because none of them have a super. Nagamo does pick one up at the last second, though. Passes it, tries to pass it over. Punisher then gets his super at the last second, and they put the goal in. Yeah, it is so difficult.